YouTube to Lewinxist here. And I've had some viewers message me, and also I've had a few people at work ask me about beans and what's wrong with them. They got some problems, maybe some uh, parasites, maybe some mildew, maybe some rust, and I'm going to tell you exactly how to fix that. So let's go ahead and check on this bean plant and I'll show you what I mean about the uh, pest. You're going to have these little orange and black caterpillars from the monarch, but the, not the monarch butterfly, but the uh, monarch moth, which is like a short stubby blue moth that's got a real wide black wingspan. If you see those flying around your garden, they're most likely laying eggs. They'll do it on squash plants, but most of all, they're going to do it on your bean plants. And I have found, I've done most of the eggs on this uh, garden here, which I have tons of beans planted everywhere. But we'll go ahead and concentrate on this little area right here that I just planted, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, let's go ahead and flip these leaves over. We don't see any eggs on these. So, oh, there's one little one. This is what you're looking for. If I can get my finger out of the way, right there. Those little yellowish white eggs. Those are from that monarch moth. They will make giant orange and black caterpillars. They're like orange caterpillars with a black head. And they will basically roll up your leaves and kill your bean plant if you do not get rid of them. And how do you get rid of them? Is you get them in your fingers and you smush them. And then just drop them on the ground or whatever. They'll compost. As you can see here, this is a way better example. That is a mass of them. These are the monarch moth caterpillar eggs, and they will hatch in about two days after they're laid. So this is something you have to be persistent with. So if you don't have the time, I definitely would not. And this is my main way of crushing them. I'll put them on my leg and just rub back and forth. Let me see. As you can see, they just pop. But the monarch moth itself will lay these eggs every single day until you get tired of picking them. So if you don't want to do a whole ton of work with beans, don't plant so many. I come out here every day, sometimes twice a day, and do this. And that's because I want good beans and I'm growing good beans. And I have a lot of beans growing right now. And I'll show you some in a minute. But... Okay, I uh, basically got all the ones off of these plants here. Um, in a minute, we'll move on. Oh, there's another mass of them. This is what you're looking for, guys. And you basically just pull them off and smush them. So, got them in my fingers, on the leg, smush, smush, smush. And you'll hear them crackle. But anyway, another thing I was hearing was rust spots. People are getting rust spots and powdery mildew. And the way to keep the powdery mildew off of your bean plants is don't water the leaf. Watering the leaf will help mildew grow. So just water the base of the plants. Uh, and the rust spots are actually really easy to get rid of. If you have a sulfur well or a well that has sulfur water, I know it probably doesn't smell good to most of you. I drink it and I think it's delicious. It's really good for you. Sulfur is a great nutrient. But basically adding sulfur to your garden will get rid of the rust spots. Well, I water with sulfur water, so I really don't have that problem. I did have a bunch of beans right here in this patch. This is kind of bald right now. All I have is a couple of nasturtiums, some baby broccolis, and some Russian creme tomatoes. But I did have just lines of beans to get the soil nitrogen rich, and I just let them go. I didn't do anything to them. And uh, I watered with the, with the uh, other water that wasn't sulfur water, and I started getting the rust spots. What that's caused by, basically, is the heavy metals that are in your water are causing rust. And sulfur will actually take that rust out of your beans so the key to having healthy beans is a persistence you're gonna have to persistently come out and pop those little eggs if you don't want them to turn into big old worms and they cocoon up right in your leaves they bend them over here's some lima beans i've planted pretty recently and they're doing really good but basically you don't want 
to have those little eggs on there or you're going to get the caterpillars and they will eat every last bit of your leaves and then they turn yellow and fall off and then you won't have a bean plant the ones that i was having problems with before i realized all of this they ended up eating 90 percent of my leaves i think i got out of 10 plants i got one really crappy green bean so that ought to tell you you gotta watch for them tiddlywinks is signing off i hope this was helpful rate comment subscribe add anything you know about bean plants down below in the comment section and i'm out of here